everyone does basically what they want. It's like going like to a massive house party. Because I'm the one that's in charge, not you. The cave is my baby. She's more old school on things. She's definitely out of place. We are losing money. We're busy, so the proof is right there on why I'm right. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. You want me to call him? Working hard, isn't he? Hi, me. Hi, me. I know you're really paying attention to your business, but I'm standing here. Would you mind coming and talking to me? So, come here. Do you understand your mom is in debt about $200,000? You understand that? Yes, sir, I do. Do you understand that she could lose her house? Have you trained these employees? We're short staff, man. Everyone's new, so some people just are Have you learning. trained these employees? Did you? Yes. Or no, did he, Maria? Yes or no? No. Does he treat it responsibly to protect your business? No. I think I did a You're lot, man. I threw flyers around the whole city. You don't take ownership of this failure. Think about it. You failed. She's telling you you failed. It's a matter of perspective. You have nothing but excuses. And you're a lazy asshole who stands there and talks down to your mother. And she's going to lose her house because of your excuses. Grow up! Tonight's stress test worries the hell out of me. John and Jonathan can't manage this bar empty. I don't know how the hell they're going to approach managing it full. Welcome to Palatino's. Come on in. Hi. OK, you guys want some pizza? Yeah. Two pizza slices. You got it. Um, how many pizzas does he need to start getting going? I can have him start making. He, I, I don't know. Let's see. Um, it's six per. Oh no, it's four per per uh, pizza. So that's one. Uh, so it's one. So I'm gonna say three cheese, two pepperoni. That sounds good. Okay. So wait, stop. So where? What the ticket? What ticket are you taking? Because we're gonna end up making it again. Like once I give these pizzas to them. And then I give them the ticket. You know, you don't give the guest the ticket. Right. So you I take give the it ticket and throw it away. So we know no, in the no, kitchen that we've already made it. Yeah, but I need to give it. I, they have to pay for the pizza. Yes, I would have rung it in when I had the ticket in my hand. So I should be ringing it in. Of course yes. you should. I didn't know that. <laughs> Who's gonna get paid? That's a good question. <laughs> Can you believe that these guys are scientists? For my day job, I am a biochemist. <laughs> we can't make boxes. He had no idea what was going on. No communication. No organization. No clue. Pizza was not making it to the table. All right, sorry this took so long. Thank you. you. The pizza actually was good, uh, it just took a while. We're getting backed up, the pizza's not leaving. These are getting cold. These are getting cold, they need to go out. Those three pizzas over to that table and you left the tag there, and so You said I would... that we were doing this because we were trying to give them, they had ordered. No, 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 but, but we took those slices out. No, you, did, you didn't take the three pepperonis out. We did, you took them out. Oh. Okay. Perhaps not. I, I might we, not we, 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 can, we, can, uh, we can double check it. This is an incredible rescue. Sometimes their conversations are just astonishing to me. Did they get the pizza or not? It, it was served in two separate orders. But they got it. At this point, I believe they got it. John doesn't think they did. I think no, that's, that's not it. Just go ask them. I think we gave it to them twice. Let's just go ask them, we guys. Gave them a meet, As you're talking about pepperoni. it, these that's are getting cold. Saying. John and Jonathan are both brilliant, but they're common sense ignorant. They can't get a slice of pizza to a table without a 10-minute discussion. John Taffer called us morons, and he's absolutely right. Now you guys are only serving bottled beer? Yeah. We can't have that. So tonight, we're going to introduce draft beer into your stress test. So I'm going to teach you guys how to pour a draft beer. Excellent. You want to start with a beer clean glass. You're going to start at a 45 degree angle. Open the tap in one fluid motion. If you pause in the middle, you're going to create a burp or a bubble. Once it gets about two thirds of the way, straighten it up. See the lovely effervescence coming up from the bottom? So who feels confident in their beer pouring? Wow. We'll start with Lexi, come on down. <laughs> Show me how to pour a beer. You take your beer clean glass here with proper sanitation and drying techniques. Gonna go at a 45 degree angle. Check. JD may go broke if it takes you this long to pour a beer, though. You got it, you got it, you got it. What the f? They can stop. Turn it off. Put it back. 
Oh, you forgot to tell us how to turn it off. Yeah, you didn't go, you, you didn't go through that. What the f Hi, welcome to Fat Balls. How can there be nobody here? <sighs> it is the way now. This is the way now it is? It's the way it is now. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Push two of these tables together, come help me. Give me a menu. Give me a server. Okay, here's what's going on. I am now gonna be 10 customers. Can I recommend the strawberry surprise? Sure. I also want to try a root of all evil, a mojito, a tequila sunrise, a fat balls cherry bomb, a jet fuel, that sounds real good, a blue sapphire, a sunset over fat balls, a backseat boogie, and a pineapple island. I want to see how we do. You think they're going to do well? If I had to put my money on it, they probably wouldn't get those drinks right. How come? because they haven't been trained properly. Whose fault is that? I'm all over the place. I can't train them when I'm doing other stuff that also needs to be done. I want to order some food. Order. Let me try Mama's spinach dip and chips. Some onion rings, a Philly steak, fat balls burger, a brunch burger, a blue balls burger. Now, boy, that's very appealing. A lot of women are going to order that. Yeah, I go, man. Yeah, I go. I ain't rushing. I've been waiting 25 minutes for food. I understand that people wait an hour for food here. Where's my food? Be patient. No, I'm not patient. I want my freaking food, and I want it right. Go get it when it comes. Who said that? Me. What did you say? I said you want to get your food when it's prepared. You gotta be patient. This is your staff. Go fire his ass. There's our cook whose name is Dirty Red. I wonder if we put it on the chef coat. Dirty. Sounds like a nickname he gave himself. John Taffer told my manager that if I had left here without cleaning this kitchen, that he was to fire me. Did go home. Didn't sleep. I scrubbed and I scrubbed and I scrubbed to the point of exhaustion. Kitchen was a mess. Hey, Joe. Don't let the coffee pot be empty today. I'm tired. Where's Red? I was filthy. I was covered head to toe with a grease all over my body. So took a little bit of a bath in the dish area. Uh, uh, tip of the day, don't get the degreaser in the pee-pee. It stings. That ain't gonna be any worse than got real, right? Oh, you peeping times. I'm sure y'all had fun. Ever do. I'm the one in charge. Hi. Hey, good morning. So far. Where's everybody? Oh. How's that cheesesteak? No Philly cheesesteak. Okay. There's no Philly cheesesteak? Dang it. OK, we'll do the nacho fries and turkey melt. Look at it. It's all lumpy. I want to see if they're actually going to eat this the way this looks. Yo. <laughs> That's not real cheese. I mean, honestly, this looks like a joke. I want you all to come with me for a minute. Let's go in the kitchen. I want you guys to see this. Here you come. Oh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Come on in. First of all, look at that fry. What you're about to see will blow you away. Here we go. Look at this, guys. You ever see oil smoke like that? You know why it's doing that? Because it is so contaminated with bacteria and filth do you understand how dirty that is? Yeah, yeah. You leave at night and don't clean it. You let him leave at night and don't clean it. I personally have spoken to Lewis about cleaning the kitchen numerous times. And I've been on my hands and knees scrubbing the floor. The floor was like that all the way Really? Across. What about that? I did not finish. So that's like changing a baby's diaper, but not between the cheeks of his ass, because you don't see it? <laughs> Will you eat that food? No, I don't want to eat that food. I don't so want to eat it. So if you won't eat it, 
How do you give it to them? My stomach hurts. I feel like I can't believe I just ate this nonsense. How do you stand here and live with that? Three weeks ago, it wasn't replaced. Why? I've had no money lately. It's been so tight, and that's the only answer that I personally have as a manager. So you don't have the money to do that. Oh. Oh.